Hi everyone, welcome to today's video where we'll be discussing cervicitis, a condition that affects many women around the world. So, what is cervicitis? Cervicitis is the inflammation of the cervix, which is the lower part of the uterus that connects to the vagina. It can be caused by a number of factors, and it's important to understand the symptoms, causes, diagnosis, and treatment options. Let's start with the causes of cervicitis. Cervicitis can be caused by several factors such as infections, irritants, or injuries. Some of the most common causes of cervicitis are sexually transmitted infections STIs like chlamydia and gonorrhea, as well as bacterial vaginosis, yeast infections, and herpes. Other causes include allergies, chemical irritants like douches and perfumed soaps, and injuries from childbirth or the insertion of an IUD. Now, let's talk about the symptoms of cervicitis. The symptoms of cervicitis can vary depending on the underlying cause, but common symptoms include vaginal discharge, bleeding between periods, painful intercourse, and pelvic pain. Some women may also experience an increase in urinary frequency and urgency, as well as fever and fatigue. If you're experiencing any of these symptoms, it's important to see a healthcare provider for diagnosis and treatment. To diagnose cervicitis, your healthcare provider will perform a pelvic exam to look for signs of inflammation and discharge. They may also take a swab of your cervix to test for STIs or other infections. The treatment of cervicitis will depend on the underlying cause. If the cervicitis is caused by a bacterial infection, antibiotics will be prescribed. If it's caused by a viral infection, antiviral medication may be prescribed. In some cases, non-infectious cervicitis can be treated with anti-inflammatory medication or by avoiding irritants like douches and perfumed soaps. It's important to note that if cervicitis is left untreated, it can lead to more serious complications like pelvic inflammatory disease and infertility. So, if you're experiencing any symptoms of cervicitis, be sure to see a healthcare provider for proper diagnosis and treatment. Now, let's talk about prevention. The best way to prevent cervicitis is to practice safe sex by using condoms and getting tested regularly for STIs. Avoid using douches and other vaginal products that can irritate the cervix, and be sure to maintain good hygiene by keeping the genital area clean and dry. So that's it for today's video on cervicitis. If you have any questions or concerns, be sure to speak with your healthcare provider. Thanks for watching and stay healthy.